Hey guys, have you done your ABCs? <laughs> I got earlier. These are quite heavy so if you want something light use some carrier bags full of tins and what we need as well is maybe a pillow or a mat just to sit on for our core stuff. All right so we're going to start off with our A's, our arms. We're going to start this little circuit with bicep curls. So make sure you pick up your weights. We can do them as hammer curls today which means the hands are going to face to the side and we're just going to bring the arms up and down. So squeezing the biceps, slowly down with the triceps, working the arms, sucking in the core. So the next exercise is the B, the bum. We're going to start off with hip extension, so that means we lie down on the floor. Weights are optional for this one. If you find it's too uncomfortable, don't use them. So you're just going to lie down, put the weight on your hips, make sure your stomach's sucked in, Weight into the heels, so relax the toes, knees, feet, like hip width apart, and toes the same. And then you're just gonna squeeze your glutes up to the sky, up towards your face, and then back down. So up, squeeze, and down. Try not to arc your spine, so none of that. Keep your stomach sucked in. We're coming up to the first C, so that's core. We're gonna start off with a tripod. So this is really, really good for your shoulders and good for your stomach. Start off with your hands together on the floor and feet apart, so you're making a tripod. Three. The base of three, you're gonna move one hand up to the opposite shoulder and place it back down. Notice that my hips don't move. I'm sucking in my tummy, controlling my body, touching and releasing. And the last C is cardio. So we're going to start off with jumping jacks today. Start with your arms above your head, feet quite wide, and then you're just going to bring it in and out for 30 seconds. All right, new circuit. Starting with the A's, the arms. Overhead press today. Got our elbows down by the side of our body. So squeezing the shoulder blades together. And then you're just going to push up over your head, making sure you're squeezing So the next one is donkey kicks. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try and balance the weight on the inside of the knee. So it means you're gonna have to squeeze your calf in towards your hamstring. Pop your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. From there, you're gonna lift up one leg. This is called a donkey kick. You're gonna push the heel up towards the sky, squeezing your butt the whole time. So try and keep your body nice and still. The only thing moving is that heel. When you've done one side, swap it over onto the other leg and repeat. So the next exercise, the first C, it's core. We're gonna do a plank half moon today. So pop down to the floor, forearms on the floor. going from the big toes to the little toes and up. The last exercise we've got for this round is skipping. So for our cardio, make sure you've got enough space and if you don't have a skipping rope you can just pretend and you can just skip with the air. But if you have got a rope, try using both feet just jumping up and down nice and gently and just skip. So the next group of exercises, we're going back to A at the arms, we're going to do tricep dips. So find the edge of a sofa, coffee table, whatever you've got to hand. Have your hands on the side facing you and your feet uh, bent, if you find, uh, legs bent if you're going to find it hard, legs straight if you find them easy. 
And all I want you to do is think about keeping your back close to the bench, coffee table, sofa, whatever it is, dipping down towards the floor and then coming back up. So all the way down and up, keeping the elbows going back behind the body. So the next exercise is rear foot elevated split squats. They're also known as Bulgarian split squats. So what I want you to do is pop the front of your foot up on a sofa or bench, whatever you've got to hand. And then you're going to, if you want optional to hold some weights, you're going to think about pushing the back knee back towards the sofa and keeping the front leg and toe pointing straight away from you. So drop down. crunch with the leg lower so pop your hands underneath your bottom with the reverse crunch we're bringing the knees towards the chest so bring it up legs up and then lower those down come back in up lower down okay so it's nice and controlled lifting the hips up and legs down and that's it for 30 seconds and we're finishing this off with cardio. So we're gonna do high knees. So have your hands up in line with your ribs. Bring your knees up one at a time. If you feel like that's too easy, try both at the same time. Okay guys, so option for this one, we're gonna do rows. So you can either use a plinny band and do some bent over rows. So you pop one foot on the band if it's quite a short band, bend over, make sure your back's nice and flat, so no hunching of the back. Keep your chest up, nice flat back, and tuck in your chin, and then pull the elbows up towards the sky, away from you, but keeping the elbows close to the body. Or, if you've got some weights, you can grab your weights, bend over, make sure both knees are nice and relaxed, back is flat and core is sucked, sucked in and then bring the elbows up towards the sky. If you want to go even heavier for the guys what you can do load up weights on one side guys it's my favorite it's squat so we're up to the B for the bum you're gonna sit down keeping your elbows in if you're holding weights on your chest or shoulders back chest up elbows out and then squeezing your butt as you stand so popping down and squeezing make sure your feet are hip width shoulder width apart toes are slightly turned out just to give your hips a little bit more space and push those knees out as you squat down. There's another one of my favorites. This is called a Russian twist or Russian rotation. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have one weight, you're gonna sit down on the floor. Lift your legs up off the floor if you're finding this easy. If it's too hard, just pop your heels on the floor. I like to cross my legs as well. It just gives you a bit more support and balance. But you touch the weight to the floor go to a sofa, coffee table or a step and all you're going to do is pop your foot just gently on the sofa, you don't have to touch it if you don't want to and then swap and you just do that for 30 seconds keeping the intensity high. Well done today guys, if you enjoyed that video why don't you check out some of the other ones from this page, like and share this video and I'll see you next week.